Heart attack is a very scary disease. It can almost seem like you have it on your side, and it's just waiting for the wrong people to find out about it. Thankfully, there are ways to find out if you have a heart attack. Your doctor can tell you whether you have one, and how to take steps to protect yourself from getting one as soon as possible. Wrong questions are answered when we ask people with heart attacks what they do about them. Should you be worried? Should I see a doctor about my heart attack? Do I need to avoid certain activities for a while? These are all good questions that should be asked by anyone who has ever had a heart attack. This doesn't mean that you should ignore the question completely or ignore your doctor if they tell you that it's not something that can be fixed right away or maybe even if they suggest that talking to someone about your condition would be helpful at this point. What is a heart attack? You're probably already wondering what heart attacks are and why they're so scary. Before we get into what they are and how they happen, it's important to understand what a heart attack is and what you can do to protect yourself. We're all made up of cells and proteins, so when a body part gets damaged, it triggers a lot of systems in the body. Some of these are what's known as internal or external our cells are the most sensitive to damage, so when something inside us gets damaged, it can cause damage to our cells and proteins. This can include anything from a bump on the head to an infection. How to find out if you have a heart attack. Clinic tests can usually tell you if you have a heart attack. However, your doctor can also do auscultatory blood tests to see if there's a blood clot inside your heart. These are the only tests that are free of charge, so they're quick, easy, and painless. However, they don't always pick up the heart disease that's caused by a heart attack. This is why you should always get your heart test when you're over 40. You can also do an echocardiogram, an x-ray machine test to see if your heart has an abnormal shape or is doing something else that could be harmful to it. This is done only if your heart isn't working normally. Most heart attacks are preventable, so it's important to do whatever you can to protect yourself. What should I do if I find out that I have a heart attack? You're likely going to feel incredibly confident when you find out that you have a heart attack. It's almost like you've won the race to protect yourself. You're likely going to feel better than before because you're likely going to have more energy and be able to tackle more challenges. It's also possible that you'll start to have feelings of agitation or anxiety. This is normal, so don't worry about it. It's normal to be nervous when you find out that you're going to have a heart attack. It's actually a good sign that you're doing well. If you start to feel other things wrong, like a headache or abdominal spasms or a feeling that something is off about you, don't stress about it. Just get in touch with a healthcare professional as soon as possible and let them know what's wrong. They may suggest that you take some medications or take some stress relievers if you're having any issues with your health. They'll also likely suggest that you start to develop a coping mechanism. Step up your blood flow. If you're having trouble getting to bed or heading into the day with an extra spring in your step, it may be that you have a heart attack. The American Heart Association recommends that people have their first heart procedure after age 50. This can be done by a doctor or a medical technician, and they usually cost around $500. However, many people don't take advantage of this offer and go with the cheaper option. This is actually more expensive, but it's not necessarily the healthier option. You should also avoid certain foods and drinks that stimulate your heart rate, like over-the-counter medications that contain caffeine, alcohol, and Lurillard flares, as these can also cause a heart attack or stroke. You should also avoid certain foods and drinks that contain sugar, like sweets and soft drinks, and also avoid alcohol. Help a loved ones with a heart attack. If you find out that your loved one has a heart attack, it's important to get help as soon as possible. This is because it can be very hard to take care of your own when you have a heart disorder. You're likely going to feel so bad for your family that they're going to start gossiping about you. Even with a heart attack, the symptoms can be difficult to spot. You may not be able to get out of bed or take care of yourself, so you may end up feeling like a burden to your loved ones. Fortunately, there are some ways to help a heartbroken loved one. 
First, keep this letter of support in your mind. It will be very helpful when you need to convey your emotions to your loved one during medical procedures. Second, include your loved one in your support group. You might not be able to talk to them on the phone or meet them at their bedside, but you can still communicate with them online or through a healthcare provider. Finally, encourage your loved one to be brave. You're almost guaranteed to bitcoinize and otherwise fail if you don't try to help your loved one. Don't forget about words of credit. When a loved one suffers from a heart condition, you have a responsibility to support them. This means that you need to make sure that you're filling out all the necessary paperwork and that you're helping them budget their medications. You also have to attend all of their doctor's appointments and follow-up appointments. You also need to make sure that you're helping them get enough sleep and eating healthy. This is important because when you're heartbroken, your body feels like it's going to war with itself. It's going to try and stave off any sort of low-quality food and make sure that you have the best possible environment for your heart to thrive in. Protect yourself from blood stations and hypertension. If you have any concerns about your heart rate or if you're feeling unbalanced, it may be prudent to have your blood tests. This is because high blood pressure and high cholesterol are also signs that you have a heart attack. Keep these in mind and you will be much more prepared for a heart attack or a heart failure. You should also avoid certain foods and drinks that contain sugar, like sweets and soft drinks, and also avoid alcohol. Although these are not high blood pressure medications, they can be very harmful. Conclusion A heart attack can be very scary. It can almost seem like you have it on your side, and it's just waiting for the wrong people to find out about it. Fortunately, there are ways to find out if you have a heart attack. Your doctor can tell you whether you have one, and how to take steps to protect yourself from getting one as soon as possible. If you have any concerns about your heart rate or if you're feeling unbalanced, it may be prudent to have your blood tests. This is because high blood pressure and high cholesterol are also signs that you have a heart attack. Keep these in mind and you will be much more prepared for a heart attack or a heart failure. You should also avoid certain foods and drinks that contain sugar, like sweets and soft drinks, and also avoid alcohol. Although these are not high blood pressure medications, they can be very harmful.